Hello friends, welcome to the lab text. My name is Nasser and uh, today we have a special offer for you that uh, the first time lab text is going to launch offer for entire bio section like how you have to identify the problem whether it is from the bios or from the firmware and uh, uh, how you have to edit the bios with the hexa tool and with the fits tool everything is covered in this offer so if you are able to repair motherboard but your bios portion is weak then it is the good opportunity for you so you can take this offer and you can get advantage of this so today we are going to introduce you the offer about uh, bios and this is what i would like to show you as a demonstration that uh, i have nm hyphen b301 motherboard and uh, this is the lenovo motherboard 320 and i have to download the bios from its website and then i have to use some extractor and I will extract the BIOS and then I will mod the BIOS I will modify the BIOS whatever the needed whether uh, using the hexa or using the uh, fits tool if uh, there I get only BIOS section like uh, if you are going to uh, reprogram the Dell BIOS then you need to have a any type of BIOS like uh, whether that is working or not that is having password but the size is required like 16 MB or 32 MB whatever the size of the BIOS you would be required because the Dell will provide you only BIOS region and me region individually in Lenovo sometime you will get only BIOS region sometime entire BIOS with garbage and uh, Asus will provide you the BIOS region with garbage and uh, Acer will provide you only BIOS region you have to build the BIOS by yourself so all types of uh, building method of BIOS has been covered in our this particular offer so first of all let me introduce you what is this offer BIOS practical testing with DSO how you will confirm that particular problem is because of BIOS or something else so we will test that, that this is a practical video that I have demonstrated there that uh, how you will test the BIOS with the DSO whether it's working or not the BIOS is good or not each and everything is covered in this particular video me region cleaning from the first generation till fifth generation you have to clean the me region just because there are the most common problem comes like uh, sh auto shutdown and the late display or the light uh, blinking on the screen but there is no display and the thermal issue random shutdown these types of problems occurs just because of the me region failure in later generation 6 7 8 9 10 11 generation till 11 generation i have covered the csme region and txc region modding and cleaning so modding as i told you that uh, if there is a garbage then you need to clean with the hexa editor also hex hexa editor is covered there rsa signature so in usually you will get uh, in the berry trial and cherry trial and uh, brass well this type of processor has no rsa signature but uh, from the apollo lake where the txc 3.0 is used after that you will see that uh, when you are going to edit the bias or if you are going to clean the txc region at the time you will stuck up because it will not allow you to rebuild the bias or to build the bias so in order to clean the txc region in apollo lake and Gemini lake usually txc 3 and txc 4 you will get RSA signature then you have to create a dummy file and then you have to mod the BIOS then it will allow you to clean the TXC region so that is the process I have demonstrated here and uh, how you will program the IO with the different uh, devices like init programmer and with the SBOD programmer I have demonstrated here BIOS editing with hexa editor this is one of the important tool you need to understand that uh, how you will remove the garbage and how you have to equal the size of the BIOS many more things is covered in the hexa editor section 
10th generation 11th generation uh, CSME how you have to update the CSME in the 10th and 11th generation as well as how you can extract the EC BIOS from the main BIOS every single BIOS which is called the main BIOS has the EC BIOS so you need to understand how you can grab the BIOS from the main so this is covered in this particular section and one most advantage you will get among the BIOS offer that uh, you will be provided along with this uh, videos around 25 videos is covered in total BIOS offer and uh, along with this uh, video we will provide you two extractor which is uh, Lenovo extractor and uh, Dell extractor HP has no extractor and you need not to extract the BIOS just there is some logics behind that and uh, Asus will provide you only BIOS region there would be garbage and the cleaning of the garbage we will teach you there and uh, usually extractor you need to use in the Dell models all types of Dell models because EXE you cannot extract by right clicking or by any extractor except the particular extractor and uh, Lenovo of course Lenovo has the extractor and the EXE file will be only extracted with the help of particular extractor so let me demonstrate you what the thing would be covered and how these things looks like so this is the a particular demonstration of th that section the bias offer section so now the I have this uh, particular uh, motherboard and I want to clean the whatever the region is behind that I need to check out the CPU that what type of CPU is uh, under the heatsink but here is the BIOS and BIOS is not working and I want to be sure that whatever the IC is used here is the very IC which was used earlier and uh, the firmware which I will reprogram so that must be 100% okay if you diagnose this BIOS with the help of uh, DSO or MSO that must ensure you that uh, whatever you are having inside the BIOS firmware that is absolutely all right so the process I will not tell you now I am just giving you a demonstration that how you have to reprogram the BIOS and what you have to care about now let's begin so I have a dumb file here which is probably not be okay and I am not sure that this is okay and if you want to show the region only that what region it, it is containing you just drag it on the analyzer any analyzer and uh, this is the me analyzer CSME analyzer so here the first thing you have to give priority that uh, the file state should not be initialized there are the three types of states usually you will uh, see while checking any uh, me region status at the time you will see that whether it would be initialized or unconfigured or configured so one thing you have to keep in your mind that uh, only configured biased will ensure you that can boot up without delaying the time and uh, that is the, the condition of the CSME region is 100% ok I'm talking about only this is the analyzer of only me region only CSME region or TXC region not the bias the bias you have to confirm by yourself by taking from its website is that okay now first of all the family we have to understand that how many types of family comes under the Intel processor so usually three types of uh, families we have found in the Intel pro processor there uh, from first generation to fifth generation it was me region and uh, then after CSME region from the sixth generation onward to 11th generation it is the CSME region and uh, few countries which has developed uh, the Intel has developed a new type of processor that, that is known as the Celeron or dual core processor where the berry trial cherry trial and Apollo Lake and Gemini Lake this types of chipset comes here it is Apollo Lake so you need to have information about the this chipset also so that you can assure because the BIOS 
descriptor communicate with the processor chipset okay so soc chipset it communicates if there is a mismatch or there is a no communication established in between the processor and bios it may turn on and sudden off or it may not turn on so this types of uh, problem can occur if, if you don't have information about the uh, chipset supported in the bios and uh, version is uh, 3.1 as the txc region started from the 1 1.0 and then 2.0 and 3.0 this is the 3.0 and it support and uh, later you will see that uh, 6 7 8 9 and 10 and after that 11 started from the 6th generation 11 12 13 15 14, uh, 16 now 16 is going on the latest version in 11 generation so a each and everything has been covered i have uh, shown there in the video that uh, 11 generation you have to how you have to clear the csme region even i have demonstrated in the offer course so type it is the production and the type and each and everything you need to understand even the pmc region how you can mod modify the pmc region i have covered in the video so you can grab this opportunity and uh, the first time laptex has introduced this type of offer because as of now we have been uh, providing the course entire course not the single individual course but laptex has offered first time the individual course for the bios because this is on the demand of the public because those who cannot afford entire course they can at least afford this particular bio section and you know because the the area of the bios has been uh, has very wide and there are the lots of things has come uh, like rsa has come rsa will not allow you to edit the bios unless you make a dummy file for that or you make a duplicate key for that unless you will not allow uh, it will not allow you to edit the file so this is the condition that uh, this is the previous booted system bios and i have taken out from some bios backup from the backup motherboard this may be good or this may not be good even if i think that it is good but it will not boot up sometime it, that late display come after 50 second or after one minute display will appear or maybe it may uh, that the problem could be that it will not detect hard drive or maybe fan is spinning very fast this types of problem could occur even if the display is available on the screen so it must be configured so you have to always remember that if you are going to take any third website uh, bios you must analyze that what is the condition what is the file system state so always it should be configured then you can expect that at least it has clean me region clean csme region or clean txc region now we will move forward and i would like to show you that i have to download this particular model bios so this is the model which i have shown you earlier nm hyphen b301 so i have got bare motherboard without laptop so i cannot get any serial number or any model information so what should i do here so you go on the google and just type the model uh, the la number or whatever number is given so nm hyphen b 301 this is the model and i will go to winofix in order to see only that which model it is so here i will copy this point only 320 that is not 100 percent sure because if uh, you have serial number that is the 100 percent surety that whatever you will get that would be absolutely all right or 100 percent all right but here i don't have the serial number at least i have model number so i will do one thing again i will open a new tab and there i will write a driver only this model driver so lenovo support will open and i will go to the lenovo support okay so here manually i have to download the ufi uefi bios and here i will download the bios so update critical so download here so I have downloaded here now drag it to on desktop and what you have to do you have to check that uh, you have to extract since this is the exe file 
and they, it is not giving you any option to extract so you need an extractor as I told you earlier that Lenovo has extractor and you you need to extract so I will drag and drop on the extractor and it will give me a file uh, this folder so I have got this uh, exe now I will extract it extract here and uh, FD file BIOS FD file this is the my BIOS but see here we have total 8 MB BIOS and here we are getting 8.63 see one thing could be happen that uh, whether entire file has 6 MB only BIOS region or it could have the full entire BIOS along with the me region or CSME region so in order to check this you need hexa editor so in hexa editor let's open it both file okay so I have dragged it now what I will do this is the my old bias and I have just taken it only to measure the area only okay this is just for a measurement so this FD file this is my backup bin this is my backup bin and uh, this is this for the size only okay so I am going to see here the area mismatch on the first it is written MZ and here is nothing is nothing is written here and uh, Z nowhere Z is written so what I will do I will try to match up however this is the bigger in size see here if I click here you will see that 9056712 byte and here what I have I have 8388 something byte so I will just copy this portion okay copy this portion and I will search here this area okay it is already written and rest of the area I will delete let me move myself so I am going to mod the BIOS so now the, the upper area the top area is matching so since it is the booted system so that is why it is written this area rest everything is okay that you can see here semicolon and B and E P greater than at the rate X everything is matched here now so this is at the matter of top we have checked that everything is alright now let's come to the footer so this is the foot of the BIOS now come to the foot even it is mismatched so we know that just for size I have taken this particular BIOS so I am not taking anything if everything is matched so I will not edit anything uh, I will not use the fit tool which is given by Intel so what is the size so I will go here and uh, I will go to this size so this is written 8388600 and this is this area I have raised not this something is goes wrong now go again see it the last portion is 8388600 this is the offset 8388600 so this is the offset and the raw is uh, seventh raw so here come to the seventh and afterwards all the thing is garbage now do one thing you just have to clean this part delete okay yes now see the m area 8388680 and this area 8388608 both are okay so this is the FD file which I have downloaded from the Lenovo website so just cross this one I have not any work of this and save as save as on the desktop so Lenovo or uh, write the name nm hyphen b301 edited okay okay I have saved it now cross it and uh, refresh it here I have the BIOS which I have edited 
using hexa and uh, I have to check the condition so earlier you have seen that the con condition was initialized now again I will open it and this bios I have to check so drag it on the me analyzer and check it so see the condition if you want to repair this particular bias even you can repair you just take out only bios region from here if suppose you have the password in the laptop you just don't have to do the entire bios so at that moment what you should do that you should replace only the bios region so that is called the injecting the bios region or injecting the csme region so all the process is covered here you can get advantage of this particular course so this was the short demonstration that's how you you have to do the bios before applying on the board before using on the board you have to do something on the bios so before using on the motherboard any backup bios you have to edit the bios you have to mod the bios then you can expect that the display will come if display is not coming your bios device may be faulty because that could be testify from this area let me demonstrate you also one point which is left so you have to open the txc region and since it was the 3.0 so i will use here tool of 3.0 okay this one and uh, let me refresh it because uh, log file is generated again and again you should better to use the new log file so that is why I have deleted the old one and now I am going to use fresh so here what I will do that I will check I will drag here and I will check only that uh, whether which IC is going to be supported by by this given BIOS so here what you need to check that go on the setting flush set setting area and uh, here each, each and everything is written that this particular BIOS has only 8 MB otherwise it would be written here it has two BIOS one is the 8 MB and one is the 16 MB if two BIOS are used it would be written here on the BIOS section because you have dragged the BIOS from the from the uh, Lenovo website or from the backup website it has information that with how many BIOS are used and uh, here VSCC the vendor specification table entry it is telling you 0 X EF 60 and 17 so it is win 1 25q 64 win 1 25q 64 fw or dw could be used here that is 1.8 bios and if you are using rt bios copier then you need to use the specific 1.8 holder otherwise it will not program rightly so avoid to do this types of mistake so each and everything is covered that how you can match that your bias which a bias IC is going to be used in particular this model so you can see here that let me show you that this particular bias is 25 Q 64 FW this is the 1.8 bias this information is because this all information is giving you this is the 24 you can even edit it you can use the new one that you want 25 U 64 if you want to use then you can use but you have to ed edit this uh, portion then you can use okay so many more things is covered I cannot describe you each and everything that how many because 25 videos is among this offer and uh, you should take this part if you feel that you are unable to can finalize this particular portion that if we if you don't feel confidence to diagnose the bias area or if you don't feel confidence to uh, clean the CSME region uh, with the hundred percent right method then you must opt this offer so I hope guys this particular number you leave the message on the whatsapp and uh, we will respond you as soon as possible so hope that we will wait for your query and uh, till then thank you thank you for watching this video